crispy coil. You know what time it is. Sneaker addicts. Sneaker addiction. Sneaker, uh, you know, sneaker beasts. Alright, there's a little quick video. I just wanted to say thanks, uh, Dubstep Slap. Uh, had a giveaway on his channel and uh, the jacket just got here. Really quick shipping. Um, man, he's a thorough dude, man. Um, di didn't even ask me money for shipping and uh, and I, I can't believe that the jacket got here already, man. All the way from California. So, uh, Dubstep Slap, man. Big ups. And it kind of got me motivated. So, um, when I get a thousand subs, uh, I'm going to do a, a giveaway. I'm not sure what I'm going to give away yet. Um, thinking uh, maybe some kicks, maybe some gear. Some kind of electronics, something like that. You know, first place, second place, third place type deal. <clears throat> Maybe a, a hat. You know what I mean? I'm a fitted dude, but I know a lot of dudes are uh, in the snapback, so we'll see, man. Uh, leave comments below. You know what I mean? Down. And, uh, yeah, we'll see where it goes from there. But, uh, real quick, couple things. Aliens. Look how nasty that dude looks right there. That looks like my ex-girl right there. If you're watching this, you know who you are. Eat a dick. Anyway, um, Iceman, the Iceman Mafia dude. Uh, this dude was like a, a hitman for uh, the Bonanno crime family in New York. It's a true story. Um, they interviewed this dude on HBO. It was like one of the most like gripping things I've ever read in my entire or seen in my entire life. The dude's name was uh, Richard Kuklinski. That just sounds like he might murk you. That name just sounds like some dude that would straight up murk you. Like, he, uh, there's, like, pictures in here, I think, of, like, what he looks like. And he looks like you're, like, your, your drunk uncle at the family. Like, Christmas, this dude right here was definitely drinking some old granddad. Talking about when I was your age type shit. You know what I mean? Talking about we had newspapers for fucking sneakers. Is this the type of shit he was on? He fucking... He took this, look at this dude, he, he like played with his kids, he was like a family dude, and then he would go out and straight up, he was fucking murderous, like look at him in, in the pool with his kid, like, there he is, family man, and then the next thing you know, he was ripping dude's limbs off, you know what I mean, but uh, yeah, he took some dude up to a fucking, like a mountain cliff in a cave, and he like smeared him down with all types of like fucking peanut butter or some shit, and had rats eat him alive, and he videotaped it. For the dude who wanted him dead, like, yo, vicious book, Philip Carlo. If you ever want to read something insane, this book is all that. Anyway, Philadelphia Filthies. Right now, they just clinched the playoff spot. This hat right here is really, really big. 9-11 just passed, 10th anniversary, man. Everybody remembers where you were when that happened, man. And uh, big ups to all the troops and shit. And, uh, you know what I mean, everybody that died, man, it's, it's crazy, but this is the 9-11 edition hat, it has the American flag, um, you know, uh, you know, on a serious note, man, that was some really, really, really heinous shit that went down that day, and, uh, I remember watching it on TV like it was yesterday, and I couldn't believe what I was saying, you know what I mean, you don't expect that shit to happen, you know, in America, but, uh, anyway, on a lighter note, um, yeah, so it's 10 years later, and, and what they did in New York is crazy, the fountains, it looks great, man. You know, big ups to the dudes who uh, made that, all the plumbers, all the union guys that, that made that happen. Um, big ups to union guys. If you're in a union, big ups, cuz. Anyway, that's a Phillies hat, you know, 59, 57, and 5 eighths. It was a little bit more expensive, 37. While I was there, uh, I keep my hats really fresh, man, like I do my kicks, and this is what I use right here. Cap care kit. You get a, uh, a brush to brush off the lint before you clean it. It has a color test rag inside this little yellow thing right here, right? And uh, in the back, there is a... This showing right here is like a cleaner. And uh, right here, you have the waterproofing. This waterproofing right here is awesome, man. Water beads right off any kind of stain. So if you want to keep your hats looking fresh, man, get this. It's like, you know, like 15 bucks. But, uh, yeah, I got that from Lids. Two pairs of kicks. Uh, some of my earlier videos, my minor league shit. You know what I mean? When I was on the Reading Phillies. Um, yeah, man, uh, erased. And I just wanted to show people, you know, I got a lot of new subscribers back then. I think like 100 people viewed it. So I wanted to throw some kicks on this vid. Uh, a couple kicks I'm waiting for didn't get here yet. So...
right here we got uh, people that don't like Air Force Ones, man. I, I respect your decision to not like this shoe, but um, I guess I'm a little bit older, and uh, to me this shoe is, is extremely iconic, man. And um, I just remember, uh, you know, when I was younger, man, this shoe was like was really popular growing up. And it was affordable, and it was dope. It matched with everything, and it looked fly with shorts and pants. When you were a kid and you couldn't afford a lot of kicks, this was a, a short shot, you know what I mean? And these Supremes really took it to the next level. You have a, a really buttery leather inside right here. This is the LeBron edition. A laser ring on the inside. You have a, uh, an imprinted leather Nike symbol and a really plush leather tongue. Um, has a, a suede tongue and a leather tongue. I love when the tongue of the shoe is, uh, is hooked up. You got that leather imprinted AF1, laser AF1 Dubray. Dubray! You have that screw lace right here. You got to unscrew the tap, the cap to get it through the eyelet. But, um, yeah. You got the max unit right there. Pretty dope. And you have LeBron's uh, laser on the side right there. But uh, the suede on the toe box and across this whole shoe is crazy. Uh, really nice shoe. And right here it has something written in like Guyanese or some shit. And it says like, it says like, warning, if your five-year-old tries to eat this shoe, like it might not be a good idea or something. Something like that. It says like if, uh, like if your kid fucking likes to eat small pieces of metal, then you might not want to let this shoe wind up like all up in his crib and shit. Something like that. But you got this thing right here that nobody ever uses. You know what I mean? This is just something that they throw in all the Air Force Ones. They got like fucking, you know, no one ever uses these as keychains. They're just like space savers. But it is pretty cool. Actually, I didn't even notice that. It's actually LeBron on there. Anyway. Supreme, another Supreme. Oh, this one, uh, what did it say on here? Supreme LeBron. 250. Man, that's crazy. Anyway. This is a waterproof. It's almost like a Gore-Tex. I love the colors. I love a gum bottom. Uh, what's that say? Waterproof steez. Yeah. Good job. It's funny when you when you geek on yourself. Uh, <clears throat> this joint right here. Put on white laces. Metal cap. Olive uh, tongue right here. It's a waterproof material, and there's a webbing in the tongue to make the shoe waterproof. You got the Nike Air Force One on the inside right here, and on the uh, other shoe, it has this like, you know, like ill pattern or something. Anyway, let's get into the shoe real quick. You got a uh, .04, .044 sticky rubber. Uh, that's the sole. It's a gum bottom. You can see the air in brown. And this right here is a really, really crazy new buck. See the color change? And then you have a waterproof canvas for the toe box and the mid panel. You have a white, uh, really nice, just a, a plain leather, you know what I mean, a flat leather. And um, yeah, you got the white laces on the back. You see the Nike Air imprinted on the white leather heel tab. You know what I mean, got that line right there. But uh, that's a pair, couple pairs of Air Force Ones in my collection. I don't own many, but the ones I do own, I really, really dig. And uh, you know what I mean, I'm glad I got them. Anyway, oh yeah, by the way, the extra Supreme laces are olive, so that's about it, man, and um, like I said, big shout outs to everybody doing their thing, man, uh, my homie Integra Freak, you got Dubstep Slap, you got uh, System Psycho, you got I Hydro I with the crazy videos, all crazy, um, who else do we got, man? All my subscribers, man. All my subs, man. All of them. Nah, but, uh, I can't really think right now, man. Whenever I make these videos, like, I just be not thinking. Mr. Nike SB6 with the Day in the Life videos. I feel like I'm chilling with him when I'm watching those Jones. Um, Zaya X. Uh, who else? Uh, you know, uh, Nightwing with the in-depth reviews. You know what I mean? Check out him if you want to know if a shoe's hot or not. Um, man, there's so many people. Uh, the Game, uh, Mighty Kyle, uh, all my homies out over uh, Sneaker Freak, all the dudes out in the UK. Um, trying to think who else, man. Uh, 
I guess that's it. That's all I can really remember right now, man. But this is Mr. Crispy Coil. Like a bag of Doritos. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, as crisp as the day I was born. Got two pairs of kicks right there. I had a book. Because I like know how to read and shit. And, um, and yeah, that's about it. Tomorrow, Crispy is the dude that, um, videos that I make for YouTube. Um, alright guys, thanks a lot. Two fingers. Sleepy Hollow. In fact, I'm a hard act to follow. I go dolo. Ball gotten coming on through YouTube videos. Oh my god. Yeah, alright guys, thanks a lot. I'm just bugging out a little bit. Everybody, P-E-A-C-E -E from Philly. Alright? Ooh! Ooh!